Good morning. Good morning, Goosey. Nice breeze is blowing. Just a quick update on the garden. Our day lilies are coming up. Sunflowers are getting big. Cliff Swiss Shard looks very good. The beans, they're growing. Some have some blooms. The Scarlet Runners, they are running up the oil rig. They've gotten very high. And there are a few blooms on the Scarlet Runners. Right there. We keep having to use replacement tomatoes because something comes along and bites the stalk. And I finally found that it was a brown cutworm. I had pleasure in smashing it between my fingers. There's my borage. There's my blue shrimp, Sorrentha, that I planted by seed. I planted the borage by seed, too. Actually, everything in here was planted by seed. Here's Cliff's carrots. He hates the idea that he's going to have to thin them out because there's way too many. And they won't form a carrot if they're crowded. He's going to have to dig them up and separate them. But they look very good. Very good. His pickler cucumbers are getting very big. Bell peppers doing good. Keep in mind all these were grown by seed. His little herb garden over here is doing very well. Look. It's basil. He's very proud of the deal. And we cut the fig tree on the back lawn back last year and we took one of the limbs and stuck it here to root. Well that was two years ago. Last year it came back and it looked terrible. It had like three leaves on it. But this year it looks lovely. There's guys sunflowers. That one's the biggest of it. Well I'll say that. There's two more down there. This one didn't get a good start, but it's coming along. All the day lilies Cliff's sister gave me, and then my friend Linda gave me a crinum. Several crinums, actually. There's another one down there. Crinums are those big lilies that are like waist high and have the big amaryllis-like flowers on them. They're real pretty. Some smell. There's all different kinds. And then the corn. Look how good the corn looks. We did have a little incident. We noticed that some of the corn was getting eaten and it was right between the sunflowers. So, guess who we decided the culprit was? Right there is your culprit. Yeah, Casey, it was you. Anyway, Cliff and I created a little barrier. We tried to make it artsy look. It looks like some kind of boat. We use sticks and some tomato cages. We gave it a little artsy flair. But the corn's coming back. The ones that he chowed down on, they're putting new leaves out in the tops. Thank goodness. And the garlic has done really well too. I bought the garlic it was 
nine dollars a pot and they were on sale for three dollars a pot so I got four pots and we separated them and planted them all along the perimeter of the garden all the way to there to where Cliff's Parsley is on this side we planted them on this side of the fence we planted it on the back side so that we would have more garden space but they're called society garlic and they keep the moles and the gopher rats or I guess anything that crawls under the ground I would say moles and voles out of your garden because they have to eat through the roots and they do not like garlic but there is an update on the garden Let's walk into the greenhouse and see what's going on there. Daddy Buddha's doing good. I haven't put Baby Buddha out. It's my Hoya in full bloom. This Hoya's finally opened up. What? Three blooms. Oh, it's got a fourth one that's about to open. And there's another cluster right there. Oh, and another cluster. The other one that uh, put the first cluster out but was later to open up than all the other ones is... Well, where is it? Oh. Um, Duh, me. I hung it up here so that we can see it better. It's about to freak out. Thought it falling off. That's it. Pretty. It's more pink than this one. That one's a cream color. And this is more pink. And then that's the royal purple over there. And this one, of course, Sister Linda gave me is another royal purple. I'll take as many Hoyas as you want to give me. I like them. And the Indian Hindu rope plant, which is a Hoya there. I had it hanging over there by the window, and it was getting direct light. It does not like direct light at all. It was starting to turn yellow and start crinkling up. So I moved it here. And it has turned back green. The leaves have soaked up water and plopped up more. It's happy. And let's see what else we've got. I'm soaking an orchid here in some water. I think the bark needed to soak up moisture because I was having to water it a lot and the clarodendron is slowly waning away she was pretty though she's still very pretty with her little clusters of blooms there's my little piece of art I put together with Orchid blooms from Tricky Love Nelly. Her blooms fell off. They fell down there. I have this obsession with collecting all of my orchid blooms when they fall off. So there's Tricky Love Nelly blooms. Here are some from my microchip orchid when they fell off. Aren't they cute? I have bath bowls in the house full of orchid blooms. And here's some more orchids. Those opened up finally. They're very pretty. They're yellow.
and then these are still blooming. They finally all opened up. They're about to fall off. Yay, I'll have more petals for my purple retrace. And that's the tour. Have a fabulous day. Ciao.